Hey guys, this is Red Check Dave. I'm back yet again for another dragon fight. Um, not really yet again from your perspective, from, from mine, surely. I think this is attempt number five, but it might just be number four. And this time I'm gonna try using magic swap to stay in longer so we can get off more drains before he recasts the regen on himself. And because I have so many mana pots, theoretically this should work a little bit better. Alright, so standard thing here. Explore these two rooms. Lapis Lazuli Ring. That's a really good ring. Okay. No, can't use it. Darn. Well, at least we know there's a good ring at level 66 waiting for us. Uh, the dragon's on me, but since he's not decloaked, I don't think there's any point in trying to fight him. So we're just going to be patient. Uh, right, might as well use mana in. Even though I only have this many spells equipped, I can still use more spells than that. He's directly above me, but he, again, he's not revealed. There's no point. What the fuck? He just hit me for 3,453. That's nice. Right. And I'm gonna drink. Okay, this time he's got 45,000 health. I've had various ranges of 38 to 48,000. And I'm gonna use Magic Swap to stay in. The theory being it won't, uh, won't hurt me that badly. Okay, I guess while you're stunned you can still chug potions. So... Lesson learned, who knew? He's guaranteed to crit us, so... Might as well... Get in a position where that's less of an issue, I guess. And keep on checking those mana pads. <laughs> But we are actually probably going to stay in for the full duration. And get a second crit out. Before we cast regen. Or a second drain off. And that's the primary objective of this whole exercise. drains we get off, the easier it is to kill them. The less he can kill us, it's dying. And I have an elixir, so we're gonna just use that shit. Elixir does not increase your toxicity, so we can still see that still completely empty. It does look like this approach is working very, very well, actually. I mean, if you don't have 20 evil eye potions, then this this approach is not going to work for you. But being that I do, that makes it a lot easier. Hmm. It's a, an artificial way to extend my life without having to use potions. I might be able to just stay in here forever. Alright, I'm gonna use an actual potion now. So that's the first one of those to go on. And I probably need more mana. As well as another actual potion. Okay. We got ten turns. 
Hmm. Ten turns. Let's pull out the magic swap. He's missing us. That's nice. Now we're at a minute again. gets a hit in without magic swap being active, then that'll disable it, but could be wrong, we'll see. Uh, booze meter is filling up nicely. And we're good, pretty much. I'm one step above him, even though the visually it doesn't look like that. Alright, well, he's almost dead at this point. He's running? For some reason. I don't remember him running, but maybe it could just be me. Since he's running, we can just kind of fight him right here forever. As we would any normal enemy. And he'll never attack us. Um, I'm assuming he's going to cast regen on himself. Except, uh, we get a way of going. Apart from that, this seems to be going pretty well. Okay. Well, he hit me for like 2,000 or more than that, but magic swap negated almost all of it. So, get fucked. Suck on my magic swap. There. Uh, so, we only got like one more boost. Potion to get And yeah, I definitely should not have broken him out of his previous state. But oh well. Live and learn. And we're gonna be very close to running out of mana here, but we're running out of potions here. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we got him in the state again. So we're just sitting here for 16 turns. Theoretically, uh, you should die. Before he can horribly murder us. Alright, got drain again. He's at 3,000 life now. And he should still be running away as far as I know. That doesn't look like he's interested this time. Alright. <laughs> Is the magic swap working wonders again? Basically totally negating his incoming damage. And if we can keep him this low, he's pretty much dead. Yep. We won. <laughs> that is definitely not Morgana. Yeah, you show that bitch ass dragon who's boss to kick the crap out of him like nobody's business. For the second time. This time with a much more difficult character. Alright. Well I guess that's a good demonstration of how powerful magic swap can be. Presuming you have a shitload of mana pots. So <laughs> spell that you almost never use, but pretty good when you when you need time. Because if I just if I just fight him with Drain, normally he'll he'll eventually make his way out of it, or I have to back out for a little bit, and then I'll just cast Regen and regain almost all that life. So if I was going to win the fight, it would just be RNG based and take forever. But because of Magic Swap, I was able to stay in there and tank it over and over. 
the entire way through. And of course, only one kill. Uh, it doesn't preserve your kills through sessions, so we just have to deal with whatever the score is off of this. And we only have 7,000 gold, so you did a 2.7 million up there, that doesn't count. And our combo is 50 right now, but our max combo is only 36. <laughs> I believe that's actually a higher score than what we had with Robin. sure what what happened to the other score but I did win with Robin before I think the score was around like 530,000 so got a slight slight edge on score that time and we just barely beat it in under 10 hours unless it only counts up to 10 hours which is entirely possible I'll probably do another survival run at some point with uh With another one of the characters. I'm not sure which one. Who should it be? Zombie, sheep, mummy, skeleton, robin? Uh, I guess I would try the sheep. The sheep's gonna be the hardest, I think. It, skeleton would be pretty tough as well. Maybe skeleton. But zombie and mummy are both easy, easier than robin, even. So, yeah. But hope you guys enjoyed it, and that's gonna do it for this run.